Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're doing the Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale shop with me. So that means it is the day after Christmas and Bath & Body Works always does a huge clearance sale. I've gone over kind of this in some other videos with my tips and tricks and my haul should be posted already. But I'm getting a little bit of a late start today because we had some snow this morning. I'm still nervous about going out, but I mean, I do have a good car, it's four wheel drive, so we should be okay. I think the highway should be pretty clear by now. I don't even know when my stores are opening, if they're opening even early right now. I feel like it was just a mess with some my annual sale. Like the online website kept saying, that the sale was going on online yesterday when it wasn't it started this morning at like 5 a.m and i looked through everything and i just did not see a whole lot like it just didn't seem very exciting to me this time so i'm a little bit nervous about what we're going to find in stores but i feel like maybe the stores will have more stuff we'll see but of course you guys know me i always love to be first and today i am not first today so i kept checking on the website when the stores were opening because most of the time they open early but none of the hours have been posted i ended up like calling one store because they have a little voicemail the beginning where it tells you the hours and only one store said their hours for today and said they were opening at 8 which is already almost 9 and I have about 45 minutes of a drive um, so yeah I don't know what's up with that so we're probably not gonna be first today so I don't know if we'll get first dibs on the good stuff hopefully we'll find some stuff but I do want to show you guys what they all have in stores what the prices are so you guys could get a good idea for what they have um the sale does last for a few weeks so prices will change as the sale goes on but let's go ahead and hopefully we make it there safely um I'm gonna go to a few different stores today so we'll see what they have okay guys I made it to the first store slowly but surely it was a little bit slick out so we we're just all going slow on the highway because only one lane was like clear but we made it to the first store, so hopefully they still have some good stuff for us, even though I am a bit late. But I feel like there's hardly anyone here because of the cold temps, and this is an outdoor mall, so I feel like it's less trafficked. But yeah, I'm excited to see what's all on sale today, so let's head inside. Okay, so the first store, I walked in, and right away we found the $3.95 table, which had most of the Christmas stuff, I would say, like the holiday traditions, like Frosted Coconut, Snowball, Winterberry, Wonder, all $3.95. I did find the Vanilla Bean Noel scrub I was looking for, so I added that to my basket. And then they did have these socks up here, which I thought were $3.95, but they were actually like 60% off, so they were actually pretty cheap. So I always like to grab their socks that they have available. It looks like they still had tons of snowflakes in cashmere and frosted coconut snowball as well as iced sugar plum but I really didn't need any of these because I had stocked up on what I wanted during body care day. And then these were also $3.95, like the Wrapped in Vanilla, Life of the Party. So all of those Body Care Day scents that came out are all clearanced out now. Winter Cherry Blossom, and they had some extras of the Coconut and Winterberry Wonder. They had half off these bath bombs. Have you guys ever tried their bath bombs? Because I actually haven't, but I've been kind of curious about them. And then I thought this was a good deal. The 3 for 7 minis, you can mix and match the different lip glosses that they have, which I actually do like these. I I picked out a couple that I wanted. I had to dig through the bin to see what else there was. It also counted on the hand creams, like the Merry Cookie Rainbow, Rainbow Swirl Candy. And I thought it was cool that you can mix and match the mini body care too. So I got a couple things out of there. They had a bunch of Fall and Bloom, You're the One, and of course the Christmas ones as well. And then the 75% off table, they actually had a decent amount on here. They had some Beach Nights shower gel, which I was really excited to find that. The Sunshine Mimosa spray. I found a random Fiji Guavatini like bronzing lotion thing, which is kind of interesting. They had some Sunrise Woods mixed in there. Gingham Love, some old Japanese cherry blossom. I think they had like a bunch of body creams that needed to be reformulated with the aloe in there. But yeah, there was quite a bit to choose from. Um, that strawberry pound cake over there is actually only half off, by the way. So I don't know why it was in there. They had some Hello Beautiful left over. Some of the Love Always Wins. Some of the fall line, like blueberry sugar pancakes and the pumpkin latte. As you can see, the store had no pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't know why, but maybe they will when I come in again. But yeah, they had quite a bit of that stuff left. And then a bunch of body creams that they needed to reformulate were over here as well. We did see the Dahlia Moisturizing Body Wash 
wash, which was interesting. I heard Dahlia was coming back, but so far I've only seen it in the body wash, which is kind of cool. And then just tons and tons of Summer Belle D in the 75% off. Now this is the 50% off area. They are clearancing out Midnight Amber Glow and Fall in Bloom, so we are sad to see those leave. I really did like those. And then just a few scrubs over there, random stuff, and some of the holiday faceted, like Strawberry Snowflakes was only half off today, Forever Red, Starlit Night, and Magic in the Air. I would wait for those to go 75 personally. I think they should have been. And then I was surprised that this fall collection was only half off too. Like this is old in my opinion, so it should be 75. And then they had some body butters for 50% off as well. And I even found on the bottom there some colognes half off. They really discounted a lot of the men's stuff. I still need to try this coffee and whiskey. I've heard actually a lot of people like it, like women. So I really want to try that one. So our clearancing fairy tale. So we are saying goodbye to this one. I'm so shocked, but I'm curious to see what else they come out with next year. But yeah, if you like fairy tale, it is leaving and it's only half off right now. And then the returning favorites are only 50% off too. I'm surprised because usually these start out pretty cheap but i would hold out on these for a better deal personally they have cucumber melon sun ripened raspberry the sea island shore also pear berry and then brown sugar and fig is also included in that one so these are like their old favorites that they had from the 90s but i don't know if i'm honestly going to be getting any of those and then they have this new collection for the sale also half off the whipped rose and vanilla which we know is the whipped rose latte blackberry and basil i may pick that one up when it goes down in price i don't want it for 50 percent quite yet and then the pink lily and bamboo is also half off today so yeah i don't know about that one i'm not sure i love it but i definitely picked up the rose vanilla they also had half off some aromatherapy you guys know this is my fave the cinnamon and sandalwood definitely recommend it and also the vanilla patchouli is really good these are like the only aromatherapies i have liked in a long time and then they had a bunch here on the back wall so all of this is half off right now hopefully it will lower in price but usually their aromatherapy is pretty expensive as is okay soaps 50% off I did not see any 75% off ones at my stores they may be hidden but I don't know what to look for I just did not need any soaps right now but here's some of the new ones for the sale which is kind of fun the white woods I was excited that strawberry soda is in a soap I might have to go back for that one we'll see but yeah they did bring back some fun fruity ones for the sale but yeah only half off on those i'm not super interested now candles are 10.95 most of the like fall and winter ones here you guys saw this collection just came out not that long ago and it is on clearance but they already changed the price to 50 percent off so i'm so sorry if you guys missed this deal it'll probably go down again but look what i found here if you guys see this collection it is 75 percent off and it was in the 10.95 stuff so you just have to know what to look for here look at all the pink petal tea cake i found i definitely stocked up on that one and now i'm looking and i'm seeing some more that i should have grabbed like i'm pretty sure that lemon pound cake was 75 and i should have got it but i missed it anyways single wick candles were 650 today i don't know if that's still going on and then of course they have tons of christmas candles still left over some of these exclusive ones the bacon and the thanksgiving one were still there my store still has quite a bit left a ton of french baguette which is surprising too so many people love Love that and then a bunch of wallflowers for 350 and then the candle accessories are actually 60% off my stores haven't got their signs in yet but I'm gonna wait and see if any of these go 75% before I bite the bullet um, just because I don't know I just not feeling it right now for 60% off but I kind of like that pink gnome one I might go back for it we'll see all right guys I made it back from the first store I was pleasantly surprised with the candle selection you guys okay so my store does not have these marked, but you'll see it in the clip um, that all of like the summer collection with like the pineapple marshmallow, the pink petal tea cake. Did you guys see all that pink petal tea cake? 75% off unmarked so I stocked up for real I'm gonna have to go see what they also have I was just so surprised they had so much of that stuff like that has to be extra shipment sent in for the sale so I'm sure your guys stores are gonna have it too just be on the lookout because a lot of it is mixed in and there is some confusing other summer scents mixed in there too but 
the pink petal tea cake. It was 75% off, $6 a candle. Yes, please. I am so excited. Okay, so we did really well with the candles. The body care, though, not too exciting. A lot of the newer stuff was 50% off. Not a lot of 75% off stuff I wanted so far. I know there's a ton of $3.95, all the holiday stuff I already stocked up on during body care day, so I really didn't need that, but we'll see what we can find at the second store, because the first store I did a lot of the filming at, I probably won't film as much at the other stores, um, so I had to kind of go around and make sure I got all the content. I was just filming on my phone inside, so you guys could see everything pretty quick. Um, I didn't really see any perfumes, though, half off. I did find a bunch of colognes, though, so I'm going to see if I can hold out for those to go $75. i am going to try and hold out on the returning favorites as well. Well, I did get the whipped rose and vanilla, but they didn't have the body cream, which was weird. So yeah, first store, I would say it's pretty successful for candles. I really didn't think we were going to find any 75% off ones today, but I am so excited. Oh, by the way, I just got this little Carhartt beanie for Christmas, and it is keeping me super warm today. I also got a new Stanley cup. It's a pink one, so it matches my coat. And this is the 30 ounce size, so it's a lot smaller than my other one. And I also have my coffee from this morning. <laughs> the roads are getting a little bit slushy. Not a fan of it. Hopefully we can make it safe to our next location. Ugh, I just hate driving in the winter weather. But I'm doing good so far. I just got to take it slow. <sighs> Usually I feel like I'm always in a rush. Um, so yeah, let's go to the next location and see what we can find. Now I thought that this store actually had quite a bit of more rare body care finds. But it was so much lotion. Like where's the rest of the stuff? <laughs> I found like that white tea and sage collection. The buttercups and berry bellini. I did not see that at the other store. But yeah only lotion so far. We got fresh coconut colada. This is the honeysuckle and peach. They had some strawberry soda left over. Summertime surf. That's the oldie and cucumber melon i found a dark kiss body cream in watermelon lemonade shower gel and then this one in a million fine fragrance mist some old sea island shore and then they had these men's cologne 75 percent off suede and sandalwood and then the sage and bergamot they didn't have any testers out though so i didn't buy them but i'll have to see what those smell like all things left for autumn drive some wicked vanilla woods shower gel which was a pretty good find but yeah, there's like hardly any mists I've noticed. So that kind of sucks. Um, some champagne, apple, and honey. I did find a pumpkin pecan waffles like body mousse, but that's about it. Sweet whiskey shower gel, which you guys know I love that one. And then the sunshine or summer melody <laughs> perfume. And then I forgot to film this at the other store, but like all the men's stuff is being clearanced out for $3.95 right now, which is such a good deal on their stuff. Like lotions, you can get the little sprays, of course, not the colognes, but there's so many good like shower gels to pick from. I always get my husband some of these, so I might have to stock up and come back for a couple more of like the sprays and shower gels here. And then something else I forgot to show is the gift sets were half off. I mean, I feel like the gift sets are kind of discounted already, so you may be getting a good deal with these, and you might be able to find some that have maybe some classic scents in them, so like all the gift sets and little gift bags. And then I wanted to show you guys that I finally found the body cream for the whipped rose and vanilla that the other store didn't have. And then how upsetting is this? I really thought these candles were going to be part of the sale, and it turns out they're full price right now. So we'll have to wait for a candle sale for this new spring line, I suppose, but I really wanted the amethyst, but I did find this pistachio candle for the candle sale price all right you guys have to deal with this terrible lighting for a minute but i went to the second store which is a little bit smaller one surprisingly i did not see any 75 percent of candles there i don't know what it is but my big stores seem to get the candle stock jackpot and this one just had really nothing and another thing i was so surprised about is that the new like I thought like the amethyst dreams and like those collections and like blueberry marshmallow bar or whatever were supposed to be part of the candle sale today the 1095 but they were full price so I was kind of shocked about that because I read that they were coming for the sale but I guess they decided to leave them as like a spring launch so those are not included even though I said it was in my original video but that's okay didn't really find much there they did have the lotion or the body cream I should say of the rose vanilla one that I was looking for and then I found um the pistachio candle there which is really hard to find right now it's like sold out everywhere and I don't think it's coming back so I got that but otherwise like there's 75% off stuff they did have different items but it was like a ton of lotion so I don't know they are still I'm sure getting stock in but yeah I didn't really care for any of the body care I don't know what it is but I feel like I'm not buying much body care this sale and I think it's because I bought too much for body care day but I'm at the third store now 
which I really wish I went to this one first because I love the manager here. She's so sweet. She used to be my manager at Ulta and now she works at the Valley West Mall location. I, I just, I should have came here first, but it said they weren't opening early, but I think they actually did open early. Who knows? So she's going to be sad that I'm probably not going to buy much here, but we'll just go check it out and see if they have anything exciting. Okay, this store I only found a few things. I did finally found some pumpkin pecan waffle spray. I had to dig for it though. It was like in the very bottom. They had this nice owl little candle holder for 75% off. That one's really good. I think I bought that one full price. They had some like denim and daisies and some strawberry pound cake that I didn't see at the other stores. That whole collection was there. Some more Japanese cherry blossom body wash here. I found a thousand wishes scrub 75% off as well. Done at store number three and yes I did find more things. Oh my gosh. They had some good 75% off gems there. And I was able to find pumpkin pecan waffle spray. I cannot find any creams though anywhere I go. But I figured I would go ahead and grab a spray backup. And then my old manager was like, you need to try the sh dry shampoo. It's really good. And so I was like, okay, we'll get it. It was 75% off what, as well, the Summer Melody scent. So we'll try that out. Plus I found a few more goodies as you guys will see in my haul. Now we just have one more store to hit up, which is a larger store. So they may have some more candles, I'm thinking, hopefully. But... Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty shopped out, I think. <laughs> I feel like I did decent. It's not my best haul ever. We found a couple things, but there's still just some stuff I would rather wait for it to drop 75% off, and I don't want to pay half off for it, so a lot of stuff is still 50%. Okay, hey guys, last stop of the day, last store of the day. I'm at one of the big stores, so we'll see what they all have, and I'm also going to stop at Sephora here because... Makeup by Mario has a new foundation I want to get just dropped today and I know Sephora has been launching a ton of new stuff so I'm gonna go see what they have here and also they have a Lush here too so we can go see what they have for clearance. They clearance all their bath bombs and Christmas soaps half off which is always a good time but usually there's a big line but maybe today it won't be so bad but I definitely want to see if we can get some snow fairy shower gel and any almond smelling soap here. Now some of the good finds at this store were a strawberry soda body cream. I also found cinnamon donut swirl you guys this is so cool from the summer collection and they also had some more champagne apple and honey a secret wonder land lotion this body scrub i like the creamy ones a lot and they also had the into the night scrub hey guys just got in the car the mall was an absolute madhouse so that bath and body works was so crowded just wall-to-wall -wall people just feeling a little bit overwhelmed they had a couple things but honestly not a lot it seems like that first store i went to was definitely the jackpot store which it typically is for me during some my annual sale and they just had so many more candles like i'm tempted to go back almost and look again but um you know i feel like they still haven't got all their shipment in so don't be discouraged if you guys had kind of a lame essay yesterday because i feel like it's kind of lame everywhere because i feel like they're just missing a lot of stuff and you know it's gonna get better as it goes on and those 50 percent items go down in price i think if i didn't find those candles in the first store i would be very disappointed and then um i did get my goodies at sephora i just got two things i got the Makeup by Mario foundation to try and Sol de Janeiro has their new body oil out. This thing is really pricey, but I had to try it. I love Sol de Janeiro and I'm excited they have a body oil. So we got those and I was, I went into Lush and I automatically went out because they didn't have what I was looking for. I wanted like their snow bear soap, something almond scented and they just didn't have it. I wanted to get some Snow Fairy, but the people in there are just literally insane, like, how annoying they are. Like, I just can't, like, you don't need to ask someone what they're looking for every five seconds. It's a bit much. Like, and I feel like they're just well known for that, so I just don't like to go in there. But I might go again to Lush later this week when it's calmed down, because I remember last year I found quite a bit of stuff towards the end, and maybe they'll have some Snow Fairy. I don't know. It was pretty busy today. Now we can be on our way back film my haul. I need to do something with this hair since it's been in this hat all day. Kind of a mediocre SIS so far in a crappy wintry day but it seems that the sun is out a little bit and hopefully this week it'll warm up but I'll definitely have to share with you guys anything else I find throughout the next few weeks. I'll definitely be checking back so don't give up hope. Keep checking your stores but I guess that's kind of it for this shop with me video. Fun. It's my annual sale shop with me. It's like a tradition. I always upload these the day after the sale so you guys can see what all I found because as you guys saw every store does have different items it seems and you may find something really 
really rare at one location. Um, so you never know what you're gonna find. Don't forget to check out my haul video. I'll have it linked down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.